hi guys welcome back to my channel it's just a more tire if you're new here welcome and if you're I know Tsobi, I love you for watching. I really wanted to film this video because it's such an important video. And as a new mom, and I know there's so many new mommies, mommy to be, I really feel like this is like my own little gift to motherhood. To all you new moms. <laughs> I swear River is like looking at me while I'm talking. She's like, <gasps> anyways, so guys, I wanted to film this video to just kind of talk to you guys about it. I probably will have to look down a lot because obviously she's sitting on my leg right here. So yeah, and yeah, so I wanted to talk to you guys about this because it's super important. If you don't know, I am a new mom. I have a daughter named River and she's five months old now and they grow really fast. And even if they grow really fast, the first, I swear, the first eight months, and um, the first eight weeks goes by super slow. Now, one of the things every, I wanted to make this video because as a new mom, this is something that I experienced. My sister as well is a new mom. This is something she experienced as well. So I just wanted to give you guys my tips and tricks on how to help your baby sleep better. Now, when River was born, she really, um, I can't really say like, obviously the first, the first um, two nights with your newborn baby, you really can't tell um, if they're a good sleeper or not. Every baby sleeps because as you're laboring to give to push the baby out, the baby is also laboring to come out of you. So it's a two-way street. So I wanted to film this video to kind of help you guys. I've, I wouldn't say it's a brag, but I've talked openly about how I sleep trained River um, to sleep through the night at only 10 weeks. Um, she was 10 weeks which means less than three months and i was able to sleep train her <laughs> i was able to sleep train her to sleep through the night so, um yeah i'm gonna talk to you guys on how i was able to sleep train my daughter river because i know how hard those first few weeks are when you're a new mom like you guys don't mind my makeup like these days is so hard to get makeup on point because obviously you have a baby crying and everything so it's 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 really tough to get my makeup as flawless as you guys are used to having it so we just have to make do with what we have so yeah so back to what i'm saying obviously the first um eight weeks some babies the first three months which is 12 weeks some baby even longer find it difficult to um um, to sleep through the night and which makes it very hard for the parents and the mom to integrate into life of motherhood Which really happened to me. I didn't want to have people around and you have baby blue Some people go into postpartum depression and then you're having sleepless night now the sleepless night when I had my daughter really really affected me it really really affected me so what we did was my husband and i took care of the baby at night and my mom took care of the baby during the day it's easy to say oh sleep during the day people tell you sleep when your baby's sleeping but it's hard to sleep when your baby's sleeping because when your baby's sleeping as a mom that's when you have so much to do and that's when you feel like oh you just want a piece of your old stuff again even if it's to take a shower in between oh bless you baby in between um, taking some of your postnatal medications, whatever it is you have to do, press your stomach. Somebody like me, I had to train my core to be able to stand again because I was healing from pelvic floor, which I still am. So there, there was a lot of there's a lot of things that goes on that you need to get done during the day, and you know it's it's tough. It's really tough to to follow that advice of sleep when your baby is sleeping it is a good advice if you can bless you baby if you can definitely follow it follow the sleep when your baby is sleeping but it's not gonna work every day now let me get back to this i was able to sleep train my daughter river at only 10 weeks and a few days now prior to having a baby i'm someone that has a structured life when i mean structured life i wake up at a certain time every day i go to the gym in the morning what is it mama I go to work, I work in 9 to 5, I come back home, I do whatever it is, it is I need to do and I go to bed around a particular time and I do the same thing over again which does not bother me at all. I'm that kind of person that can do the same thing over again, watch the same movie over again, eat the same food over and over again, doesn't bother me. So yeah, that's what it is. So when I had a baby, um, 
not having a structure to my life really really affected me mentally not having a structure to my life definitely affected me mentally now um so i could not wait to sleep train my daughter to some people it's too early but i was able to do it so the thing i would advise you as a mom is tip number one study your baby when you study your baby you start to know if you're ready for sleep training i started to notice that um river would try to sleep but there's so many distractions going on because my husband and i normally what we'll do is because she would usually if she would sleep all day like babies would sleep up to 19 20 hours a day like they literally sleep all day so like every baby every newborn she will sleep all day yes mama you used to sleep all day and she'll sleep all day and then at night i i kid you not the minute it's like 12 or 11 30 our eyes will be wild open and my husband and i will put on a nice movie until she falls until she falls back asleep because we felt like okay we need to stay awake she's awake until she she falls back asleep so i i started to notice that and then the four she became a month old four weeks old and when we got to around two months i could not wait to start sleep training her i noticed she started to be awake longer during the day start noticing when your baby is awake more during the day start engaging them in activities and um, reading a book tummy time a little bit of you know start putting some sort of a routine in place is what i'm going to tell you and um, so i read a book to river all the time she loves the tone of my voice and so i read to her i sing to her i try to obviously they're not going to be awake but you just have to try and um, whenever they're awake so each day as each day passes by your baby will become more alert during the day so when we got to week nine i started to practice and putting her down for a nap waking her up a bit but not it, it, it's not gonna work like magic um so when we got to 10 weeks i was excited because my baby was already two months and two weeks i felt she was ready into i was felt like she was ready to get into a routine because i needed a structure to my life as well for my own mental health now so what i did was um when i would do bath time with her i would give her a bath we would read a book and then i would feed her and try rock her to sleep she would fall asleep in my arms and I would put her down. Most babies would wake up screaming and shouting. I have been there. I have gone through your baby waking up every 20, 20 minutes. I have been there. When she wakes up, I pick her up and I put her down again. The more I did it, the first week was strange. River couldn't understand why you're putting me down. Why aren't you holding me to sleep in your arms? why are you putting me down i used to swaddle her when she was a newborn i would swaddle her and obviously she's getting stronger she would break out of the swaddle i would swaddle her again with a velcro swaddle she would wake up when she would sleep for like an hour or two wake up and cry i have been through it all so what i did was and um, i would feed her like i said put her down for a nap i started to notice that she would sleep and um, five hours straight she would sleep three now the key is when your baby starts sleeping listen parents i know it's hard when your baby's sleeping you miss them you want to pick them up you want to cuddle them i know so when your baby starts sleeping what you do is when they start sleeping about four hours they'll probably sleep a four hour stretch at night for, at the early stage so when river would sleep a four hour stretch when she would wake up for her feed i would pick her up i would feed her in the dark don't turn on any light i will feed her in the dark if i'm doing a nappy change i will do the nappy change in the dark and um, so she would still be in that sleepy drowsy mood so i'll feed her in the dark i would put her when she when i feed her um, in the dark i will hold her in my hands for about 10 minutes and i will put her down again and she'll fall asleep instantly like literally instantly she'll fall back asleep even if we've gone to a nappy change so if you're going to do a nappy change change the baby first and then feed the baby and um, so that's what i would say change the baby first and then feed the baby and i'll put the baby back down again she'll probably wake up maybe she probably goes to bed at maybe eight she'll probably wake up another four, um, four hours and another four hours again i'll pick her up and feed her in the dark for the second time again and she'll fall back asleep and she'll probably wake up at about 5 a.m which was really good for me because i started to have at least 
even if it's broken sleep, but I started to get at least seven hours at night of broken sleep. It was better than where I was coming from. So the more we did it, the more obviously she would cry sometimes. And you know, we just we, you just have to stick to it, moms. I know it's hard, you want to hold your baby and stuff and you're crying. I would just, when she would cry, I'll pick her up make sure she's not you know wherever she's crying i put her back in the next to me and she'll go back to sleep so each night it got better and better and better now she only wakes up twice during the night so she'll go to bed at eight o'clock and wake up at maybe 2 a.m for a feed and then she'll wake up again at 7 for a feed or 6 30 mostly 6 30 for a feed so i will do 2 a.m feed my husband will do the 6 a.m feed so that's how each now one of us so it's it gets easier you just and the key to doing this let me tell you the tips and tricks the tips and tricks is feed the baby in the dark and hold the baby for a few minutes and put the baby back down don't talk to the baby don't kiss don't cuddle you do that during the day don't try to kiss the baby rock the baby no matter how cute they are they're so tempting my daughter is absolutely cute like she is so cute it's so tempting and you know babies when they sleep they look cute when they cry they're cute they're cute all the way around don't fall for it feed the baby in the dark and put the baby back down when you change the nappy change the baby in the dark feed the baby if you have a nappy to change change the nappy feed the baby and put the baby back down yeah mama do that and put the baby back down in the dark I, I remember when I first started in implementing this, my husband, when he would pick her up to feed her, he'd be like, oh, mama, playing with her. And then I, I, uh, then she would ha open her eyes wide, like, okay, you want to play with me? It's playtime. Yeah. And then he would be like, she's not going back to sleep. I was like, that's because you're talking to her. But when I do it, it's instantly. And I started to get my own sanity again because I started to sleep better and better and better. So that is it, moms. That's the trick to doing it. And it's not too early to sleep train the baby. Start noticing when your baby is ready for a routine the minute your baby start being more awake during the day. Start noticing it. Now, when it comes to nap time, nap times are a little bit harder the minute the baby starts to sleep through the night. When your baby starts sleeping through the night, like now River wakes up every day literally at 7. Every day, sometimes 6.50, literally every day because she goes to bed at 7.30 and she literally wakes up for a feed at 4 a.m. And she'll sleep and wise open at seven. Now, when she wakes up now, she doesn't cry to be picked up. She stays in her bassinet and she's looking at me playing and laughing from her um, 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 next to me bassinet. So she she looks and plays from in there. She really, she makes a lot of noise on her own. <laughs> so she's like babbling and yabbling. So it automatically wakes you up. Um, so yeah, so mommies and daddies, that's what I would advise to every new parent. Start noticing when your baby is a little bit more awake during the day, when they're awake three hours during the day, when they're awake four hours during the day, they're definitely ready for routine. I would say 10 weeks is not too late. Some babies are probably ready from eight weeks. Put them in a routine as early as you can for your own mental state and your own sanity. That's what I would say. Yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video really helps. Um, this is a tried and true um excuse me mommy's talking this is a tried and true experiment my sister is doing the same thing with her baby i've given a lot of moms on my um social media this tip because i've raved about it so much on snapchat and a lot of mommies have gotten back to me and they've said that oh my god thank you so much this actually works so yeah that's what i'm gonna say give it a try um yeah and that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in our next video, guys. Bye, guys.